What up YouTube? Today I'm shooting a video uh, that's a little bit overdue. said I was going to shoot it a while back and just haven't got around to it. Um, been pretty busy. But anyways, uh, today I'm going to be shooting a video about um, hydration in your monitors. And uh, basically going to be focusing on, on your burrowing species. And uh, the issue with burrows or humid hives and why they need them. Um, and why they need constant access to them, not just at nighttime, not just sometimes. Uh, for you guys who like to let your monitors uh, free roam, this is going to be geared towards, you know, why they need that humid hide and why free roaming, in my opinion anyways, uh, is probably not the best way to go unless you're able to keep the areas that they free roam, which usually is going to be a room or the entire house, depending on how you do it. Um, unless you're able to keep those areas super, super humid all the time and provide an area where they can, uh, they have access to 100% of the time that holds 100% um, or, or damn near 100% humidity. Um, so yeah, on with the video. Uh, these burrowing species, they utilize burrows in the wild to not only get away from, you know, potential predators or threats, uh, but also to thermoregulate and to stay hydrated. Uh, now you may think that, you know, if they've got constant access to water, a big water dish, um, or if your humidity in your enclosure or your house or your room or whatever it is, uh, stays at the proper levels for that species, that you're good. Um, from all the information, and again, this, this is not my own personal research. I'm not running out to Africa or New Guinea or Australia and doing this research. This is just stuff that, that I've read off the internet and there are some really, really good sites. So, you know, do your research on your monitors and, and understand why they need this. Anyways, I'm going to get back to the subject at hand. Um, uh, where was I? Oh, why they need the, uh, the burrows. They need these burrows um, for, for a number of reasons, like I stated before, but uh, the main one when we're talking about captive lizards is going to be Obviously, they don't need to escape predators, and uh, you should have a, a temperature gradient in your enclosure to where they don't need necessarily the burrow uh, for that reason. But the reason they do need their burrow or a humid hide, and when I say humid hide, again, I'm talking about a tight space that holds nearly or 100% um, humidity 100% of the time, and they need access to that all the time. Anytime that they, they want to be able to go in there, they need to have access to that. Um, and, and, and the reason why is, uh, and again, I'm just pulling this information straight off the internet and I'm going to regurgitate it for you guys who haven't seen it, read it, or, or whatever. Um, and and uh, I believe the way the article uh, explains it is that when it's cold outside, you can see your breath. And that's moisture that you're seeing uh, released as you exhale. Um, same thing's going to happen. It's happening to me right now as I exhale. I just can't see it because it's not cold. It's hot as hell in my house. But anyways, uh, same thing's going to happen with these guys, and they're not quite as good at retaining moisture as uh, humans are. Uh, so when they lose it via exhaling, uh, they need to replenish it. Um, and you may think that that's done simply with the, the relative humidity inside your enclosure. Um, generally speaking, that's, that's not the case. Um, they're going to need that burrow that holds that 100% humidity so that their internals don't dry out. And, uh, and again, if I'm quoting any of this wrong, Guys, drop a comment, let me know, I'll correct it in another video. I'm pretty sure I've read this about 100,000 times, so I'm pretty sure I'm spot on on this. But uh, uh, yeah, so without that accessibility of the, of the humid hive or burrow, whatever have you, um, they're going to lose that moisture, and they're going to be constantly losing it and not replenishing it enough to the degree that they need to. Um, and this can chip years off their life. You may say, oh, what I've had a black throat or whatever and I kept them successfully healthy for five years ten years maybe you know and and, uh, and never had any problems with that but then he died all of a sudden and towards the end maybe he was looking really dehydrated he got thin he thought he was sick couldn't afford a vet bill whatever the case may be and he died it's a possibility that that's you know one of the reasons that, that your monitor passed or, or that he had a shorter lifespan than he, than he should have um, so, you know, give your, your monitors a humid hide. Better yet, give them that two feet of diggable substrate in their uh, enclosures uh, so that they can dig their own. Um, and when I say humid hide, again, 
I'm talking about a tight space that holds 100% humidity all the time. It can be created without using the two feet of diggable substrate. I don't really want to go into that um, because A, it's I found anyways, I'm trying to do it myself, that it's way too much work uh, than it's worth. Um, it's just way easier to provide them with a uh, diggable substrate. And what I've done in this temporary cage behind me here is uh, added what I call burrow boxes. Um, it's basically just a huge bin filled with soil, um, a sandy soil mix that, that burrows well and, and holds humidity, and I keep it moist, and they have access to that all the time. Um, the cage wasn't originally set up to have uh, that much soil because it was going to be a temporary cage. I planned on getting my garage conversion done um, way sooner than it actually happened. Um, they're still fine as far as space requirements go. Odin on the bottom is getting a little bit big for, for this cage and it's an 8 by damn near 4 um, foot cage that, that he has. So I added a burrow box um, so that he can have you know, his diggable substrate and, and a burrow area and a humid hive that, that gives him the requirements that, that he needs. Um, uh, but yeah, anyway, so uh, if you don't have a cage or a setup that allows for that two feet of soil, don't be afraid to hack it up. Don't be afraid to cut a hole in the bottom and drop drop a big box in that's full of soil. You know, if you can uh, go down to your local feed store, if you have one around you, um, like farm supply store, they sell uh, variable sizes of uh, um, water troughs for livestock or whatever it is that you, you know you want to use it for but um, you can cut a hole in the bottom of your cage if it's wood obviously if it's glass that's really not an option um, shouldn't be keeping monitors in, in aquariums anyways not the larger species uh, but anyways uh, so cut a hole in the bottom and uh, drop a box in that's big enough for them to get in and dig a burrow um, it's got to be at least two feet deep um, and uh, and usually it's got to have a lid on it so um, you can see in my cage here where Loki is he's got it's just a big plastic tote um, it's a 65 gallon plastic tote uh, that I dropped in I cut the bottom of his cage out and dropped into his cage filled it with soil um, obviously it's supported with frame because that's a lot of weight and I don't want to come crushing down on Odin here but uh, yeah it's filled with soil the soil stays moist I've got the lid on it with a hole cut in it so he can get in there uh, the basking lights are sitting on the very edge of the uh, burrow box that he that I've got going here and that's so that he can dig a burrow on either side of it and uh, one side could be a cool burrow or the other side could be the, the a warmer burrow that he can utilize um, yeah but that's that's about it you guys so um, if you don't have if your monitor doesn't have access to that do your monitor a favor if you care about them and, and give them one. Thanks, you guys.